Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, hopefully that the lighting's a bit okay. It will get a bit better after this clip. Um, it's been been a good minute since I've done any updates on my weight loss and my health. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and step on this scale, and we're going to see how much you know I weigh and you know exactly how much you know I lost. So. Go ahead and flip this down. So, stand. Get it activated. Let's stand on it. We are at 204. We weigh in at 204, though. That is really good. I need to keep it up. So now. You know, it's time to give an update and talk, you know, exactly how I've been with my health, where I'm at with my body shape wise, as you guys seen before. So, we're going to do that soon. Okay, what's going on? Um, of course, as you've seen by the first clip, exactly where I'm at with my weight, and I'm down to 204. Now that is very good now. That was the first half of the goal. Those that follow me on social media and those that have watched the previous videos that I've done talking about what my weight loss goal is, it is definitely want to get down to 240 to 220 without looking like death. You know, it really is. And as you guys see, now I'm down to 204. So I feel really good and really great. Um, you know exactly how my body feels with physical um, so when it comes to my legs first during the calf section of my legs um, they're still they're still good <coughs> bless me they're still good uh, they, get, they still get a lot of strength in them um, I don't feel like I'm killing them as much uh, my feet you know they are bad because of being diabetic you know I do feel you know pain in them you know at times yes uh, my uh, thigh section is doing good uh, around the waist area I'm definitely dropping a lot there the most and I'm pretty much down to a size 32 I'm definitely down to a size 32, which is crazy, but, you know, I, I, that, that, that took a while. And, of course, you know, trying to get somewhere with your weight and health-wise, for, for, for health-wise, right? You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, the body mass is down the stomach area. I do see a change of it going down again it's going to going to definitely take a while uh, the chest area this part I don't feel as much pain anymore in my heart area I don't feel a lot of pressure over in that heart area when I'm out somewhere you know I find myself going almost for four a good total of four hours um, I don't see myself really running out of energy as much or not even just energy um, you know stamina anymore like I used to uh, the, ch the shoulder areas around like this part I feel I feel like they're kind of slimming down and that's what I want because I don't like feeling bulky up in this area you know it makes me really feel uncomfortable uh, you know my arms you know I like them slim down to a certain trying to get them you know slim down you know I want to get them slim uh, my body doesn't really feel as tired as much anymore um, you know how it used to you know when I was extremely overweight um, I still feel pain though on this side 
because of my liver. Um, still haven't got, done anything, you know, in terms with that. Um, I did find a pick of myself when I was at my most heaviest. It was around 340. Around that 345. And, you know, you guys will see that pick at the end of this video because it extremely it extremely shows matter of fact there are actually two picks that will be definitely going in this video and you're going to see you know first pick me sitting in this car with butterfly doors I was hitting that 340 mark and then the pick after that's going to be around it definitely on that 340 marked at 345 and I look extremely different back then compared to what I look like now uh, you guys can tell you know if I were to shave this off which it's almost fall then it's going to be winter so I need to grow this out so my face has some kind of warmth my face on the side is more trimmed down around this area I feel good around here as well I definitely look a lot better than what I used to you know what I used to I used to look like shit I felt like death you know and I knew what I looked like um and I used to you know mental wise I used to lie to myself a lot saying man I look great I look okay in reality I know I wasn't uh when it comes to you know the mental health part of that you know that's something I'm, something I'm still working on uh you know fighting depression, bipolar depression, mood swings and suicidal depression is you know, a very real thing and trying to do what keeps me happy trying to keep myself busy, you know sometimes gets hard and if I were to relate to one person it would to be, I would, would definitely relate to Boogie2988 you know a lot of things that he says you know that I have experienced uh, that I also have went through just like him so I relate to him, you know, quite a quite a lot, especially in the mental health department. Um, as you guys know, what this channel is about about being awoke and growing beyond your expectations that society puts you in, and also me sharing, you know, my knowledge and exposing certain things that need to come to light. As you guys already know, what I'm mixed with, and we're so focused on, you know, us as Black people in the Black community, so focused on wanting to expose others that we need to expose you know ourselves so this is what this channel is really about um and you know i'm really happy where this channel is going you know subscribers may not be growing because you know subscriber rates for youtube now it's not about the subscribers it's about the views but i'm you know i'm comfortable with having 31 subscribers and the views are pretty good as well so you know i can't complain about that um other than that you know, I feel way more better than what I did before, like I said. Uh, you know, my body mass wise, for you guys to see, which I'm very comfortable, you know, showing. This is where I'm at. Right there. Around the stomach area. As you can see, there's a big difference. There's a lot of scars, a lot of stretch marks over the years. Then we get to my chest area right there so you can see a massive difference and a massive amount of change with me you know dropping the weight that I've been dropping and I'm going to continue um you know winter will be definitely coming up soon and I'm not going to be out walking in the cold anymore I know my body can't handle that. It definitely, definitely cannot handle that. Um, one, because of the diabetic nerve pain from the winds, the cold, it triggers those and it causes a lot of pain. So when the winter time comes, you know, I'm definitely going to have to skip a lot of eating. When I mean eating, I mean pretty much starvation-wise, to quite be honest. 
and because I really want to keep my weight still going down a lot. So it's really going to be a lot of fasting slash starvation and a lot of water. If I would eat anything, it would have to be salads straight through for those seven months because down south, you know, we go through seven months of winter slash rain a lot. So no one likes to be out in that, especially me. You know, I, I didn't mind once upon a time, but because I know I was younger and I was stupid and naive compared to now. But this is definitely where I am with my weight loss. I am doing very good, magnificent wise. You know, I feel a lot more better too. You know, some of the older videos that I have or had, you know, I definitely just felt really un uncomfortable on camera because of that. Um, but doing, but now with this update, I am now with dropping a lot. I feel good. I look a lot more better on camera, especially when taking pictures now. Like, like if I were to, um, those that go on my Instagram, like you can see a massive change, like from how big I was to where I am now. So. You know, being down to 204, next goes to hit that uh, that 199 mark, which we can definitely hit that. I'm gonna try to do that within a week's period. I believe I can do that. So, not too much else to say, but you know, I just wanted to really, really bring you guys, you know, that update. Um, so. I think the next check-in, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know, man, when I hit that uh, 199 mark, and it's going to be a while, it's definitely going to be a while, so, with that being said, um, you know, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed 